Alright, let's go chase after the liquid. Can't believe he was master all along. Been dead for three days, apparently. Liquid, you clever son of a bitch. And off he runs. I don't know why he's decided to, you know, not wear a shirt. It's probably a little bit nippy in here. I mean, the heating bills for a building this size, I just, I dread to think. Um, but anyway, if we call people, they're going to go tell us what we need to do. Snake, what are you doing? Go after Liquid. All right then, all right then. I kind of knew that, but uh, I just wanted to make sure. Got my body armor equipped. I've got my SOCOM. Quite a few cutscenes coming up, I think. Liquid! Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly, with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the Genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread Fox Die. Fox Die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already, I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. <laughs> You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! You should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands. You stole my chance for revenge. Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him. I will destroy him. You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you. Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes. Yeah. Shouldn't have let him jump in there. That's a bad move. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Consider it 
is an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. Oh, God. <laughs> Snake, what are you doing, man? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Alright, so... How do I stop it? That's a very good question. Very good question. And I don't have an answer for you at the moment, Snake. Oh, my word. We're gonna fight. We're gonna take on Metal Gear itself. Here we go. This is what we've been building up to. And that thing is huge. That thing really does look awesome. But it's going to be trying to kill us, so... A big arena for this fight, though. Anyway, right. Um, why, you've, why have you taken your body armor off, Snake? It's a bit silly. Right, let's call Otacon. He should know how to uh, destroy this thing. Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I Damn. do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah. That thing that looks like a shield. That's a radar. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded. Yeah, try to hit that radome with a stinger missile. So Excellent. Stop it. No. Oh. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Damn. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radio. That will force him to open up the pilot's seat. Right! If you can shoot a Stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. <laughs> People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. Yeah, it's a good job you did design it with uh, a weak point, which is kind of nice, poking fun at the fact that, uh, you know, why the hell would you design something with a, a very, very sort of, um, well, a weak point. Oh, God, he's walking at me. That's not good. Stinger. So you got to aim at this radome thing. And uh, there you go. Oh, he's firing the missiles. Oh, shit. That's bad. That is bad. Um... I think, actually, we might be able to use chaff grenades to disrupt his um, his aiming, possibly. But, uh, of course, the chaff grenade didn't freaking go off. <laughs> Struck another one. Alright, Stinger. Yeah, it's missing us there, that's good. Right, keep on throwing these chaff grenades, then. God, they're a bit too close for comfort there. There we go. Oh, damn. I hate those missiles. Now, we can actually go a bit closer to him, but he has that uh, thing that looks like a penis <laughs> that will fire a laser at you, um, which is also very nasty. What am I doing? I'm panicking now. Where's my chaff grenades going? That's the laser I was talking about. Very, very, very cool thing, but quite painful. Oh, and machine guns as well. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to use another ration here. Oh, God. Don't run into the missile snake. That'd be very silly. Alright, we're not doing too bad here. Um, also, if you get too close to him, he will try and stomp on you, so that's, that's also better. Oh no! Oh 
God damn it. Why don't the chaff grenades last a bit longer? Um, can I use another ration? I might have to go pick one up as well. Oh, why didn't you go off, chaff grenade? Sugar. Oh, Freaking, um, I'm going to chuck another one. Alright. Come on, we want to do this first stage of the fight. Nice and quick. Come on. Ouch. No, that's fine. One more hit. Oh, we just did it. Right, that's the first phase done. Love this music. God. Did that do it? Certainly damaged it. Oh, hello. Hurry! Get away! Great Fox, the name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. So it is you. You're a terrible snake. You haven't aged well. I'll send you back to hell! Come on, Great Fox. Come on. His arm gone. In the Middle East, we don't hunt foxes, we hunt jackals. Instead of fox hounds, we use royal harriers. Fox. How strong is that exoskeleton of yours? Snake, are you just going to sit by and watch him die? Love that line. Oh, nice one, Fox. Oh, crap. Impressive. You are indeed worthy of the code name Fox, but now you're finished. Uh, no, fire the stinger. Fox, can you really shoot? You'll kill him too. Oh, we have a choice now. Now.
foolish man. He prayed for death, and it found him. You see, you can't protect anyone, not even yourself. Die! You bastard. That is one of my favourite cutscenes ever. The whole fox fighting him and oh god. Oh shit. I got too carried away with taking in what's just happened in the cutscene. That was epic. I need I need um I need rations. Okay, okay. I need this ration over here. What will we do you now? Fire into the cockpit. Oh, these missiles! I hate them so. Right. And I don't know if chaff grenades will actually work anymore. Because he's sort of not using his electronics. Which uh, kind of sucks. Oh, come on. I'm not going to be able to do this. Oh, hit him, Snake. Come on. Why can't we hit him? Oh shit. Bastard. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna die here. This is ridiculous. Yep, I'm dead. Well, alright, we'll try that again. Oh, do we have to do this from the first part of the fight? I think we do. Snake! Oh, at least we got killed by the awesome Metal Gear Rex, but okay, let's try this again. I think we're going to start from the beginning. Yep, you cruel, cruel game. Okay, this time we're going to do better. We're going to do way, way better. Oh, he doesn't even have a health bar yet. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, we're going to try and do this so we have a bit more health this time. Oh, that didn't hit me, you kidding. No. Oh, laser piss off, man. Alright. More missiles. That's alright. Oh, I really... It takes ages to walk on, but... We hit him then. That's alright. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, why have I not got my body armor on? Not sure. Ooh, bloody hell, we were close to that. I'm not sure it actually helps, though, for the missiles. Why didn't that hit? That was a lock on. Oh, God. Oh, this fight is so intense sometimes. Right. If I can get to the second stage with a few more rations. Yes, good, good, good. Sod off. One more hit, one more hit. Yes, that's much better, much better, Snake. Right, skip the epic cutscene. Oh, I have to listen to this again? I mean, I've, I've, you've already seen this, but at this point where you have the choice and Snake's like, No, I can't do it. Really got to me. Really gets to me, this. See, Snake's just, oh. Fox. What a guy. He really helped us out. And I love his final speech to Snake because he's being crushed. Absolutely. Oh, it sends shivers down his spine. Why did I just stand there and take that? No way, man! What are you doing, Snake? Why didn't... No, 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 no. This isn't good. I didn't have my rations equipped. 